for Max Meyer his third big league start through about 70 pitches during the uh, scrimmage the intra squad game last Tuesday. The Marlins desperately need a win here today and they're leaning on their rookie Max Meyer for that effort. Anthony Rendon will step in to start this one. Three two. Hit sharply diving play by Anderson to first. What a play Tim Anderson. Stop it T.A. <laughs> Just stop it. A sensational all star type play by Tim Anderson on a ball that was ticketed for center field. Now here is Sean Noel with all of his friends and family making the trip. Boca Raton. Great pitch right there. Excellent slider from Max Meyer. Two away. That has been his signature pitch. And look at the location. And right down by the back foot, that's exactly where you want to locate that pitch. Here is Mike Trout. And a call strike three. Welcome back, Max. Two strikeouts in a one, two, three first inning. Sil Seth had that great performance in the freeway series against the Dodgers, had 10 strikeouts in that last exhibition game the Angels played. So trying to build off of all of that here tonight in Miami. Uh, first and second here for Jake Berger. Big weekend form seven for 16. Drove in six runs against the Pirates. And a base hit into right field. Arise is getting the green light around third. Throw goes towards second. Another RBI for Jake Berger. A 1-0 Marlins lead. Jake Berger has been nothing but an RBI machine so far this season. And Marlins have something going here. They lead it 1-0 here. Jazz to the plate. He had the grand slam yesterday. 1-2. Word travels fast that he's pretty darn good too. That's a base hit right field. Here comes the throw. Bell rounding third and got around the tag. Jazz with an RBI and a 2 nothing Marlins lead. Good slide by Bell racing home. And boy, it's a good start for this Marlins offense. 2 nothing Fish here in the first. The bases are loaded with one out. Nick Gordon. Game tying home run ninth inning last night and a base hit that's going to drive in runs here today. Two runs come home and Gordon into second with a double. Four nothing Marlins here in the first. The man stays hot. Base is loaded. Gets a pitch. It's a splitter out over the plate. All of a sudden the Marlins have four runs on the board in this first inning. Inning number two. There's Taylor Ward driving one out to the gap in right center field. This one hit well and one hopping the fence in the outfield. Ward gets to second base a well struck leadoff double. Ward over to third base with one out and Aaron Hicks will be the next batter. It's a ground ball to first. That's a fair ball. Taylor Ward scores and Aaron Hicks drives in the run. The Angels get on the board and it's four to one. Well, this will be as loud of a cheer as we hear all night. Zach Meadows cheering section is loud and proud for the new Mr. 305. <laughs> Fly ball in the air, fairly deep right center field that's going to stay in the yard. Who wants it? Jazz Chisholm Jr. does. Two quick outs here in the top of the third inning. Here's Rendon grounded to short his first time. Come on, Max Meyer. Another strikeout. His third of the game. He's through three sharp innings. Back to back, one out hits here for the Marlins. Silseth is in some more trouble. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Nick Gordon trying to just get a piece of that one, but he was unable to, and Silseth gets. Another strikeout is fifth. Now Ron Washington's coming out with the trainer. He's still set staying. He's fine. And he looks bewildered as to why anybody's Maybe even a, coming out. It could out. be a blister or, or a fingernail. Well, still Seth shrugs everybody away, and he'll face the number nine batter, Bethencourt, who struck out his first time. A fly ball headed for Mike Trout. The future Hall of Famer caps under it on a beautiful night in Miami. Enjoying South Florida as the Angels play against the Marlins. So one away. Mike Trout will step up. There's a long drive way back to left. Mike Trout in Miami has homered. Wow. Change up, change gone. 104 off the bat for Trout. 412. You provided all that power on a change up. That ball's crushed. Trout with his second home run of the season. Angels get a little bit closer. And now it's 4 to 2, Miami. Aaron Hicks. Leading it off for the Angels. Let's look at Bell making the play at first base. Do it, Josh. Right on the line and then able to find Meyer for the first out. Look at the big fella. A couple of steps, a sprawling dive. That ball was down the line. Did you see the way they reach for it? He reached behind to grab this ball and then gets the ball to Meyer. He knows he can't get there in a strike to Meyer, who was able to get there and get the out. And now runners around the corners. 
with two outs for Anthony Rendon, who is hitless this season. Anthony Rendon, fly ball right field. Sanchez on the track makes the catch. Max Meyer has completed five innings in his first start of 2024. That might be it, but it's good enough to leave in line for his first Major League victory. Taking over for Max Meyer is George Soriano. He's facing the left-handed hitting power first baseman Nolan Shonowell with that 32-game on-base streak intact. Shonowell, it's one in the air to right. Sanchez is back. This one is gone. Nolan Shonowell with friends and family in attendance has made it a one-run game. His second big league home run. Well, the South Floridian gets one to leave, and the Angels trail it four to three. 33 straight games with Sean Wall. It's now a one-run game, and here's Trout. And there's oh. another rocket. Mike oh. Trout has tied it up with an absolute bomb to the top of the facade in left center field. Trout hammers it, and it's 4-4, 473 feet. 113.1 miles per hour off the bat. That'll bring some smiles. That's why he's the GOAT. That was hit into another realm. That was a massive blast from Trout, almost out of the stadium entirely. Back to backers in the inning, and this game is tied at four. Tanner Scott on the pitch, the eighth inning. Numbers from last year for Tanner Scott, 74 games, a spectacular 231 ERA. So Scott has loaded the bases with walks. Runners everywhere as the Angels are trying to get their first lead of the night. Ward with a bouncing ball, arrives Fields, has no play, drops the ball, throw to first is in time. The run scores from third, Rendon to give the Angels the lead. A break for the Halos and an RBI out of it now, Taylor Ward. Angels looking to add on here, get a little bit more breathing room up by a run 5-4. Line drive, base hit, there's an insurance run. Joe Adele drives in Ohapi and it's 6-4. to four. Ron nice. Washington put both Ohapi and Adele in the game in the seventh inning, and they've connected for a run here. Two outs and runners at the corners. And now Mike Trout will have a chance to step up. A balk. And a run. Huge uh, add-on. Now that one's for Pepito. Balk, balk, 7-4. The Angels have the lead. Bending of the back leg. You cannot do that once you put your foot on that pitching rubber. That was pretty obvious. Bullpen excellent so far tonight. Solid five so far. Shutdown innings out of the bullpen as Carlos Estev is trying to pick up his second save of the season. And Berger with a fly ball to left off the end of his bat. In comes Taylor Ward. Out goes Neto. And it's Ward to make the catch. Say goodnight to the Marlins. It's a comeback win for the Halos. For the first time in Marlins franchise history, they start the season 0-5. As the Angels win their second straight on the opening road trip and even up their season record now at 2-2.